Hopefully I could hear stuff because my ear is going deaf. We're in New Orleans. Um, and it's, I think it's the 28th of November. Yeah. Did I get that right? I think it's, it's either the 28th or the 29th. And we're doing the October uh, finances update. So we're about a month behind. Um, this last month, or... October. October and November, we've been coming down the rivers for the most part. And it's been pretty busy. <laughs> Very busy. Very busy. And, and tiring. Uh, so I, uh, we got to the Gulf Coast about a week ago. Uh, it was a bit of a shock for me. I, I'm not sure how Sandra felt about it. It was kind of strange to suddenly come off the river system and bang, you're in the Gulf Coast, uh, it, which is all good. I mean, it was kind of cool, actually. Um, but but it just seemed like a relentless six weeks. Yeah, well, not, I shouldn't say relentless. That implies that we didn't have a good time. No, we had But it was, yeah. it was very much, the rivers changed a little bit as we went down, but it was very twisty and windy. Yeah. And um, a lot of sameness at certain points, but a lot of beauty. So as soon as we got to the Gulf Coast, just outside of Mobile. We uh, pulled the boat out, put it on the hard. We've been doing, um, there's nothing wrong with the boat. That's what everybody asks when I say it's on the hard. We're just doing projects uh, because we knew we had to change the zincs. We took the opportunity to do a couple of extra projects. And um, because we're doing it around the US uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving long weekend, everything's just taking a little bit longer than we would have hoped. but whatever it is what it is and we're not on a schedule yeah. we keep having to remind ourselves we're not keeping up to anybody yeah this is our trip we're not um so you know whether we're here for two or three extra days doesn't matter so that's a long way of saying we're going to do the october uh update for finances uh we're in the botanic bot botanical gardens in um new orleans so if i could interject we've been trying to do these updates in major cities beside a landmark. So in Toronto, we did it with the CN Tower. Um, St. Louis, it was the, the arch, of course. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the, the, the big thing here in New Orleans is Jackson Square. Yeah. But it was very busy even this morning. And I think when we're filming, we're still a bit self-conscious having people watching us when we're filming. So I don't think I would have felt comfortable doing it there. But yeah. the city park is quite beautiful. It's about three miles long. And the botanical gardens are within that city park. And, and, it's, and it's quite lovely. I don't know if you could make it out maybe we'll grab a picture from the front but we're sitting right behind the flute player it's a on, statue of Enrique a... something or other is the the uh, sculptor anyway that that was a very long way of uh, saying we're going to do the finances right so <laughs> right hand that <clears throat> to you. so we'll start with groceries which seems to be the one thing that people react to uh, when we post it but uh, in October we spent 849 Canadian Last month was almost 1400 so you'll notice that's quite a big drop. And all I can say about that is that I stopped planning for Armageddon. So instead of every time we could get to a grocery store, I just stocked the whole boat. We started just shopping for the things that we needed three, four, five days ahead, like yeah. fresh fruit, vegetables, whatever. And, and I would say when we get back to the boat in the next couple of days, we're going to have to do a fairly big grocery yeah. shopping because we finally run out of things like peanut butter and the oatmeal is running down. There's a couple things. A lot of the now. staples that I ran out have. of my decaf coffee beans. Finally, I've been picking up the specialty beans in places that we've been to. And I actually had to start drinking the full juice kind. Yeah. Last couple of days, I still I have like. many bags of coffee to go through. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so there's, there's going to be a little bit of a, a grocery shopping probably before the end of November yeah. in the next couple of days because we have a car rented. So <clears throat> eating out, I'll do that one because it's kind of related to groceries. It's a bit higher than last month. We spent eleven ninety one in September Canadian and 1360 Canadian in October, which is about a thousand American. Now a 10 or 11 days of October, we're still in Hammond. So we actually were in um, Chicago a little bit for the first part of that month. So that explains a little bit of it. Plus, we don't really feel like we're eating out terribly much, but when we do, it's often with other um, yeah. boaters and it's sometimes in nice places, which we really like. Yeah, they, I mean, the bottom line on eating out is, um, I think just like about anywhere you go now, it, it's um, it's not cheap. No. I mean, it's not horrendous, but um, it adds up. Yeah, increased so. costs. It, it always kind of alarms me that we've spent that much, but but I'm actually, I don't regret it. There's been no. some really great places we've gone to. Yep. 
um, dock fees? So dock fees in October were fourteen forty eight Canadian, which is about uh, $1,000 American. And I'm trying to think... It, that pretty, would be Hammond for 12 would, days? Yeah, the Hammond for 12 days. And then beyond Hammond, I think it's been pretty affordable. Like we've either been anchoring out or uh, where we have been at dock, it's usually not that expensive, quite no, honestly. No, a dollar, dollar fifty a foot maybe. Yeah. And um, so that's been nice. And coming down the rivers, really, in many areas, there was no opportunity to go to a, to a marina. There, there, you had to anchor because there were so, such few, yeah. so few marinas coming down. So we did anchor quite a bit in October, and there were some really nice anchorages too. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So we, we quite enjoyed that. Sorry, what's next? I, I'm not as prepared for this as Sandra. <laughs> Boat fuel. Boat fuel was um, $470 Canadian, $347 US. The reality is we are moving every single day. <laughs> so uh, boat fuel is a simple reality. I, ours is pretty low. It's funny, right? Um, compared to, I'd say, the majority of loopers, our fuel costs are pretty low. We have friends who are in a sailboat who are spending about a third of that. Easily a third. Yeah, so um, it really, boat fuel could be all over the map. Um, the other thing I'd say about boat fuel is, of course, we're benefiting from the fact that we're with the current. But well, for some of this month, we were against oh, it. Oh, we were actually against the current. For a long, up the Ohio? <laughs> yeah, that's true. And then up the um, Tennessee. And the simple reality is, because of the fact that there were so many boats and we're all trying to lock through and everybody was in kind of this convoy mentality, you end up going faster. We ended up going faster yeah. than we would normally go. So we probably spent a little bit more. Yeah, than we would have. I mean, the only plus side I see to that is it really was pretty economical, even, even with. Yeah. So there were full days where we ran uh, at 1,800 to 2,000 RPM. And typically we run 14 to 1,600 RPM. So you can sure hear the difference in the engine and you don't get, I mean, we were probably getting an extra mile, mile and a half of speed, um, but it really tapers off yeah, when you're trying to push that hard. And there was one day into um, Little Diversion Channel. If you watched the episode that just was uploaded last week, um, you'll know we went 100 and basically 110 miles that day. And the way we did it to try to get in before dark was to push it that yeah. 1800 to 2000. So, uh, just in the last couple of days, coming to the um, Gulf Coast, we started to slow down again, which was actually kind of nice. Yeah, it was nice. We made it through the last locks, and um, I suspect we won't be pushing the boat as, no. as hard as we have been. And, we, and we're going shorter distances. We, there was one day we just went for three or four hours. And the only thing I, we noticed, and I don't know if it's related, I mean, there is a reality of, of going as far as we've gone, um, is uh, we, we did get a... Um, increased drip rate from our um, stuffing box for our propeller shaft. So running faster, I mean, there's a consequence, increased maintenance. Um, I, I think it was time because I certainly didn't do the stuffing box in the previous year. I haven't even looked at it until... Well, not in any major way. Yeah, we've, until a week ago. You've looked at it, but you just haven't gone so, in there with, with wrenches. So um, <coughs> anyway, anyway, that was part of the I, projects I, that I we're still doing think, now. I still think we're doing well. Okay, so boat upgrades and safety. As you know, every month up until now has been pretty big because we had the heater installation and we bought a whole bunch of stuff that we had planned to buy. But this last month was about 273 Canadian, about 200 American. Yeah. And um, I'll, I'll let Chris talk a bit more about that, but that was, you know, we just didn't have time to do anything, even if we wanted to. I think most of it was an oil change. I, uh, most of that expense, you, you end up spending about 40 to 60 dollars on oil um a little bit additional on filters i'm not sure what else i i oh, think i stocked have... filters as well yeah, that might have been it now having said that I, of course i managed to cross to the wrong oil filter so i've got to find oil filters in the next week or so and uh our our reduced boat project expense isn't going to survive the next month I thought it was, but uh, made a bit of a mistake changing zincs on the, um, the bow, bow thruster. thruster. And now, of course, I, uh, <laughs> of course, I'm doing uh, major work on the bow thruster, unfortunately. So, so if you caught our reel from last night when we arrived in New Orleans, 
Um, one of the reasons we're here is that we ordered the new part and we just needed to get away. Yeah. And um, Chris basically said, and he doesn't want to talk about it because it was a mistake and those, those happen. And I have to say, because we do our own work, Chris does his own work, that, um, you know, the odd thing that costs us money more than is made up for the fact that we don't usually pay others to do our work. Yeah, and, you know, and not paying others to do our work means that we're confident in what's going on on the boat. Like we know exactly what we've done to it. Yeah. And we don't have to second guess things that other people have done. Anyway, it is it, what it is. It, it, it will be what it will be. I, it's not a huge, it's not going to be hugely expensive, but it was a, about $700 that I didn't want to be, didn't want to be yeah. spending. Anyway. anyway, we'll have spares. <laughs> yeah. So we're spare parts. Okay. You too. So first of all, I just want to say that in our last uh, finance update, we shared with you a link to our coffee donation page. And we did that because a lot of people were asking if we had a Patreon and we didn't. So we started this and we haven't really publicized it a lot except for in these updates. But I just want to thank um, one of our followers, Greg Cunningham, who was our very first donator. And that was awesome. Even, even though we were a little bit chagrined about setting up something like this and, and you know, what have you, it was such a thrill to have somebody say, you know, you guys do great work. So thanks to Greg, and um, we'll probably start talking a little bit more about the coffee page as time rolls on. So YouTube, again, we limited it this month to, or in October to just um, spending money on the music. We, we the limited mus it. <laughs> the, the music, the music <laughs> subscription, which is 25 Canadian, about 18 American. But in October, if you've been following us, you'll um, remember that I started breaking all the equipment, not on purpose. But, you know, the wireless mic connections got um, ripped off. We lost one of them. And then it seemed like everything after that went downhill, including the fancy little, it turns out not the fancy, but the um, what everyone thought was a really fancy rig that goes around our cell phone. And um, it finally, because it was plastic, it broke. We So we, as we got closer to Mobile, I started getting the things ordered up ahead of time so we'd have it. So our November expenses for YouTube will be a little bit higher because we had to replace two sets of mics, um, the rig, and I don't know what else. But anyway, S it was it was time. Score one for Chris. I crashed the drone, but <coughs> I did not lose the drone. So but we, I think the mic that got lost was yours. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. But better to lose the mic. <laughs> than the drone. Than the drone, because the mic system was $50 yeah. and the drone was substantially more. Anyway, it's going to happen. Uh, health insurance, still not an issue. We're still under uh, our six-month coverage. Tipping, uh, $40 in October. And I tipped a couple people at the marinas coming down the rivers. Uh, we came in uh, under some very windy conditions in a couple of instances, and some young people were there catching our lines. So we, um, we tipped them. Laundry was a little bit higher than normal, $50. But I think, I, I know I got a little bit muddy clothes got a little bit muddy and I felt we had to do a bit more laundry. Sometimes I'll rewear jeans a couple times. I, and I, I don't know what it's all tied to, but frankly, the um, in the last couple of weeks, I've noticed that the uh, the cost of laundry has gone back up. For, I think it's small communities versus yeah, bigger communities. Yeah, for like a month there. It, it's a dollar a load. It, it was really inexpensive. And so now we're back up to $2 plus a load. Which, anyway, whatever, it's just an observation. It's just what it is. Um, and that is it for the categories. So if we look at averages for the whole trip, so we're counting July, August, September, October, so four months. Um, groceries, now I'll do it in US here, but Canadians, you know, just multiply it by 1.4, which is like, ouch. So our average per month right now is $749 American, and that includes those very high months. Eating out is $775 American. Uh, dock fees are about a thousand. Uh, some of the stuff isn't worth talking about, but our boat upgrades fell to a thousand dollars on average in a month. But that's Ooh. because we had a very low month last month. Uh, boat uh, YouTube um, average two hundred and fifty-two, but that includes the drone. So we're amortizing that drone drone over a couple of months here. Yeah, we better not lose it. Which is about seven hundred dollars a month American, and that is Uber rides it's trolley cars, it's entrances to museums and attractions. It's anything that doesn't really fit in there. There's no eating out in that one. So um, in October, we did go to a couple of museums in Chicago. And anyway, and then coming down. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, we did do. All the museums were in October. Yeah, and, when Helen Anheuser was here. Anheuser-Busch 
Anheuser-Busch, which wasn't that yeah. expensive. But anyway, so all those kind of things are in there. But on average, for that other category, it's about four, my eyes are going, $475 on average a month. Uh, health insurance remains the same per month because it's um, amortized over six months. Tipping, about $20 a month. Laundry, about $40 a month. So on average, uh, Canadian, we are spending about $5,700 a month. In an American dollars, that's about 3800 a month. So it's falling yeah. because our last month wasn't that big. Mostly because we've been so busy, you can't spend money when yeah. you're busy. But it will come back to uh, for a reckoning because we do have boat repairs that are going to land in November yeah. and a big sh a grocery shop. So it'll be interesting to see as time goes by if we can kind of maintain that average. If we're starting to get into like a, a real averaging scenario. I think we need to stop taking the boat out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, anyway, I was going to say we have to stop hitting things, but nothing, yeah. nothing we've hit has actually yeah. cost us any money. And we've yeah. hit a few things. Yeah, the good news is when we took the boat out of the water, there was no real, there was no damage no, to no. Uh, everything despite looked good. all the groundings. and. Now, the blue stripe that I put on oh. in the spring uh, was peeling off. We knew it was, but when we got it out of the water, it looked horrible. So Chris was bound and determined that that was going to be one of our projects. So um, he spent a couple of days sanding it, removing it, uh, prepping it, and then painting it. We went back to Fire Engine Red. Well, the previous stripe was not Fire Engine Red. No, it was a red though, but it was pretty faded when we got it. Yeah. So it might have been, might have been Fire Engine Red. No, I think it was a bright red. Yeah. This anyway, is a very different red. Anyway, we, we decided that the blue that we had wasn't ac exactly the blue that I had hoped for. Again, in the spring, if you watch those videos, um, I was like, hmm, it's not the, the teal kind of that I wanted to match the bimini, but we were going to live with it. Well, this was our chance to change it, and we've come, I've come to realize that really what that stripe needs to do for me is to be visible in the water from yeah. far away, and um, for safety and for, you know, whatever. The reality is our stripe spends most of its time underwater, and it shouldn't. It should be above the waterline. So either at some point we're going to have to raise the waterline, in other words, move the stripe up, or get well, rid of... Well, we need to get rid of some anchor chain. Well, yeah, but I don't think that's going to make the difference. That's the uh, heaviest thing we have. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not buying as much food. Yeah. That might help. I, I think we're going to have to raise that anyway. at some point. Anyway, so that's the sum part of it. And what are we going to do for the rest of the afternoon? It's about 2.33. Oh, sure. we met this really wonderful oh, gentleman Lord. at a gallery in the French Quarter. And um, the artist wasn't there, but he had beautiful um, uh, artwork in there. And the fellow who runs the, the gallery suggested a nice restaurant in the French Quarter. Locals go to it. It's reasonably priced. It's got really unique food. So we'll probably head back downtown at some point. I, I'd like to go around and look at the rest of the park. but And if we can stay awake... Stay go watch some jazz. We might go somewhere for a few drinks and listen, listen to, to some jazz. jazz. Yeah. So we anyway, could, yeah. for what it's worth, that's month four. And I'm currently working on the next regular video. But I've been pretty sick this week, so it might be a little bit late. But we'll see. All right. See Bye. you next time. Buy us a coffee. <laughs> Please. My God, you're so rude. Yeah. Good point. Huh? Yeah. Should have said please. <laughs> <laughs> you're just trying to be funny.